660,000 people, according to Unite the Union, 660,000 key workers will have a negative impact on their bank balance as a result of this. The Joseph Rowntree Foundation says half a million more people being face, pulled, being, fa face being pulled into poverty, including 200,000 children. Citizens advice are warning that a third of people in universal credit will end up in debt when the extra payment is removed. All of those taken together, and you tell me that you personally are happy to see this go. Well, if I think about the £20 up week, that's uh, just about two hours of national minimum wage. Completely untrue, and the Work and Pension Secretary knows it. The minimum wage for over 23s is only £8.91, pence, not £10 an hour. And the Pension Secretary couldn't wait to jump across the BBC breakfast to repeat it. But I'm conscious that, you know, £20 a week is about two hours extra uh, uh, work every week. We'll be seeing what we can do to help people uh, perhaps secure those extra hours. Well, let's break that down. But I'm conscious that, you know, £20 a week is about two hours extra uh, uh, work. Complete bollocks. And as for this... We'll be seeing what we can do to help people uh, perhaps secure those extra hours. Just more bollocks. The Work and Pension Secretary is saying universal credit claimants can make up for the cut by working two extra hours a week. That's completely wrong as claimants would need more than six hours extra work to make up for the cut. As Work and Pension Secretary, she must know that. Every pound workers earn while on universal credit triggers a 63 pence reduction in their benefits if they're earning more than a 293 pounds a month threshold. That means many minimum wage claimants only gain about £3.30 for each extra hour they work. And that's before any national insurance, which has just seen a massive hike, income tax and pension contributions are deducted. The Department for Work and Pension says it's still not produced a formal impact assessment of the cut, even though a government official told the Financial Times the internal modelling of ending the universal credit uplift is catastrophic. So it appears the only way the government can now justify this cut is by lying to the public. 